happy people I'm back with another video and today I have a review of some more gel polishes for you all Madam Glam was kind enough to reach out to me and they asked me if I wanted to review a few more of their gel polishes and of course I said yes because I am a huge fan of the Madam Glam gel polishes and so I'm excited to be adding more of them to my collection and y'all know already I'm a big fan of the Madam Glam packaging it's always nice and neat and luxe looking and so here it just says everything you love at your fingertips um, on the side it says hey glamorous something else I really love about their packaging that nice gold really really makes it like I said that luxe feel and it says you're on board for amazing VIP manicures this talks about all the different things about their gel polishes they are vegan they're cruelty free palm oil free 21 formula free and HEMA free so it's a nice clean gel polish brand which I also really enjoy about Madam Glam and this is where you can find them on all their social media handles as well as their website so yeah y'all let's pop it open and see what I got okay I don't even remember the colors that I picked so let's see what I got eee! okay so we got four colors here, okay? The first one here I got is Pop the Champagne, okay? So that is a really pretty purple color. Is this purple or pink? I don't know, let's open, I can't tell. I think it's like a like a light purpley pink color, yeah. Y'all, this consistency is so nice and so smooth, I must say. It's very, very beautiful. Okay, so we got Pop the Champagne, which is absolutely beautiful. Y'all know I love the bottles for Madam Glam. They do come in 15 ml bottles. I love the shape, and I love that they have the swatch here at the top, so that is wonderful. I also picked out Blue New York, okay, which is a really beautiful blue as well. Let's pop this open and see what we got. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Okay, so this is Blue New York. All right. And I also picked out, oh my God, pink, which is a neon pink. I don't think I realized that this was a neon pink. I thought it was like a regular pink. Oh, but it is absolutely beautiful though. Look at that. Wow, so a beautiful neon pink color here. Oh, and these smells so good. Huh. So this smells good. I can't remember if it was Madame Glam or Nail Reserve that has the polishes that smell like um, Hubba Bubba. Okay, yeah, this one doesn't smell like sweet, but this 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 pink one does. No, oh, it smells really good. Yeah, it smells like that Hubba Bubba bubble gum. So yeah, I have that, and then I also picked out. Um, oh, this is pretty. I picked out Scorpio. Did I pick Scorpio? I don't remember picking this color uh, but I have Scorpio here I don't remember picking this I have to go back and check to see if I pick this color up okay but it's a really pretty light iridescent color yeah that's really pretty I don't remember picking this though I have to go and check so yeah thank you Madam Glam for sending these over to me to review so we have four of these colors here I'm gonna go check really quick I want to make sure this is what I picked because I really don't remember picking Scorpio you guys, that is so sweet of Madden Glam. So they actually threw this one in for me. So the Scorpio one isn't one that I picked, but they, they picked this for me, which was really sweet. So they also sent me an extra one, which is Scorpio. So yeah, y'all, I am gonna go ahead and get all these colors swatched. So I do have my swatch sticks here. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything swatched out for you guys. So let's see. The first color I'm gonna go in with is New York Blue. And this is how it applies. Y'all know I'm a really big fan of the Madden Glam polishes because baby, they are soft smooth creamy and one coat coverage look at that i mean i barely put my brush on here and it's like already covered to the max it's super opaque oh yeah i feel like i've been missing me some madam glam in my life so yeah this is what ny blue looks like so i'm gonna go ahead and cure that next we have pop the champagne and again y'all the formula is super smooth super creamy and i absolutely love it yes um, I do also have a discount code with Madam Glam, so if you guys are interested in getting any of their um, polishes, you can receive 30% off, so I am going to leave my discount code down in the description box, but yeah, look at how opaque this is after one coat. I mean, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. Next here is the OMG Pink, which is this absolutely stunning neon pink. Wow, that's really pretty. So that's what that color looks like. And I know I probably should have been trying to get some fall colors, you guys, but 
honestly, I'm still not ready for the summer to be over with, okay? So, yeah, these are really pretty. Super cute, okay? So that's what that looks like. And then the last color here is Scorpio. I really like this Scorpio color because it actually reminds me of a gel polish that I used to use. Went back before I really got into like vibrant bright colors. I used to use a, a regular nail polish that looked just like this. So this kind of looks like you don't have anything on your nails, but then when you move it has that really beautiful purple shift to it. Absolutely love it. Alrighty, so this is what all of the colors look like swatched out. These are some very beautiful colors. So again, the first one here is NY Blue. And this is a really beautiful, just nice, vibrant blue. Absolutely love it. Next color we have here is Pop the Champagne, okay? And this is like a really nice, bright, vibrant purple. Um, kind of leans a little bit on the pinkish side of the purple, which is really, really pretty. I also have the OMG Pink, which is a nice neon pink color. Really beautiful. This is how that looks. It's a, just a nice, vibrant neon pink. I really, really love that color a lot. And the last color I got, which is the most interesting to me, is called uh, Scorpio. So this is the one that they included. And y'all, do y'all see? It dried to a matte finish. I actually ended up having to go on the website to see what was going on with this. It is a matte glitter top coat. So yeah, y'all. So this is what it would look like if it was glossy. But it dries to a matte finish. It's actually a shimmer matte top coat, which is really cool. I don't think I've seen seen any you know polish gel polish like that before so I'm very tempted to do a set with this I'm actually thinking these two colors would pair very well together and so I'm thinking I'm going to do a non-contemporary fall set so you know fall colors people normally choose the oranges and the browns and the greens and such I'm going to go in with this beautiful um, bright pink color and this beautiful uh, matte top coat I don't know if I'm gonna make my nails matte but I just love how these two colors look together. And we're gonna create something a little different, y'all. And if y'all are curious about the nails that I have on here, I do have a full tutorial to how I did these. These are actually press-on nails. So I'll leave that full review down in the description box below. And I'll be right back. I thought it'd be kind of cool to make some press-on nails for you guys today. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm going in with my extra long square full cover tips. I have already sized out all of my nail tips. And, um... I'm gonna go ahead and just file off. You all see how sometimes when you have press-ons or full cover tips, they have that little tab here at the end. I'm just gonna file that down to make it nice and even to the nail. And then from there, I got my new little diamond here too. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this to use as well. I have a haul on that coming soon, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and file this down to make it a nice even square. Let's see, there we go. That. This is what they all look like. This set is going to be really quick and simple. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with a base coat on all the nails. And I do have my Madame Glam base coat. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that to all of the nail tips. And I like to use the base coat. Um, and apply them to all the nail tips because it saves me the hassle of having to um, go in and pre-etch or buff the surface of the nails. So that's why I like to do a nice thin layer of base coat on all the nails first. So I'm going to go through and do that really quick. Another reason I like going in with the base coat before I apply the gel polish is to ensure that the gel polish doesn't peel from the shiny surface of the full cover tip since I didn't buff the surface of the nail. So this is what all the nail tips look like after they have base coat applied. Now I'm going to go in with this beautiful purple color here, which is Pop the Champagne. And I'm going to apply that to all of the nails. All the nails except the thumb, just in case I decide to do something different with the thumb. But when you're doing press-on nails, um, one thing that I like to do is I don't like to actually start my application at the cuticle because I don't want the cuticle to be too thick. So I actually start the application of the, uh, the polish toward the middle of the nail, like so. And that will allow for a nice thin application and or layer towards either side of the tip of the nail. So towards the, the tip of the free edge and also towards the cuticle. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're working with press-on nails or if you're making your own, then you'll go through and just blend it all together. 
like so. So as I was applying this first layer of top coat, I was just realizing how much I really enjoy working with Madame Glam polishes. Um, as you all can see, it is one coat coverage. They are really smooth, creamy, and I love the consistency. It's not too thin and it's not too thick. It's just right. So after I finish applying the first layer of gel polish, I let cure for 60 seconds. This is what one coat of coverage looks like. This really doesn't need a second coat. That's just how really good and opaque the Madame Glam gel polishes are. But I am going to go in with the second layer just for safe measure because I always do. So you repeat that process one more time. Okay, happy people. So as I am applying the second layer of gel polish, I just wanted to send a quick thank you to everyone who wished me uh, safe travels on my recent uh, trip that I went on. I um, went to Arizona with some friends, a big group of friends, and I'm super excited to tell you all about that trip. I'll have a story time included in one of my nail tutorials coming up very, very soon. Alrighty, so this is what the nails are looking like so far. Now I'm going to go in with this beautiful Scorpion, I'm sorry, Scorpio color, and apply that to all the nails. And that's really going to bring out a really beautiful shift to all the nails. I'm going to go in with just a thin coat of that. And although this is a matte top coat, I'm likely going to just, um, oh, that's pretty. Wow, that's gorgeous. Although this is a matte top coat, I'm going to probably leave it glossy just so that you all can really see the really beautiful shimmer and shine that this color has. Yeah, this is gorgeous. I love it. Alright, so this is what that top coat looks like after it's been applied. And that's a different vibe for some fall nails, I'll tell you that. Okay, so originally I was going to go in with some stamping and I decided not to last minute because I practiced on the nail and it didn't turn out the way I wanted. But I didn't want to leave this clip in because I think it's so satisfying to watch the blue peel off of a brand new stamping plate. Oh, and that just so satisfying to watch the, this leaf and this other leaf were the ones I was going to use but ended up not using <laughs> so now I am going to go in with some fall stickers here um, I do have some fall stickers that are kind of of a different color scheme I originally was going to go in with some stamping but I don't know you guys I don't feel like it really turned out the way I wanted it to turn out this was like my little practice nail for stamping and I just I don't know I feel like it wasn't giving me what I wanted it to give, so I think I'm going to go in with these instead. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and pick what fall colors I want to put on here and then just go from there. I think I'm going to end up just doing the middle and the ring finger with stickers on it and leaving the rest of the nails plain. I'm trying to decide which ones I like better. This one looks really pretty. Yeah, I like that. It's just like different, you know? I like that. I think I'm gonna go with that right here on the nail. That's really pretty. I feel like these are a bit too bright. can't say that I really like this one. I'm gonna take these off. I don't like how that looks. I think I'm gonna just stick with this one here. And maybe go in with just this purple one right here. Well, I decided to leave in my process for how I apply my nail stickers. Don't be afraid to just lightly lay the sticker on top of the nail just to see how the design will look before you commit to it. Once you press it all the way down on the nail, you do kind of commit to that particular design. So it's okay to just kind of like put it on there, see how it's looking, if it flows right, keep it. If it doesn't, take it off, put it back, and try a different style. This is the design I ended up liking. Originally, I was going to go in with a little bit of bling, but honestly, I'm liking the simplicity of this set. So it's just a couple of nail stickers. I'm going to go ahead and add my top coat. So I'm going to go in with my Madame Glam top coat. I am a big fan of this top coat. The only thing I do wish is that it was a no wipe top coat. So a lot of times I don't reach for it for that reason. But overall it is really shiny and really glossy and really pretty. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply top coat to all the nails. 
And I'm gonna do my thumbnail off camera and we'll be all done here. Alrighty, so this is what all the nails are looking like after they've been cured with the top coat. Um, the matte gloss top coat, like I said, does have a sticky layer. So I'm gonna go through with the lint-free wipe and some alcohol and just remove that sticky inhibition layer from the top of the nails. I'm gonna go through and do that to each one. So that sticky inhibition layer has been wiped off of all the nails and I'm loving how this design turned out, you guys. With this set, I am gonna do things slightly differently. Um, I'm doing a word test on these nails right now and I'm actually not ready to take them off just yet. So when I sized these press-on nails, I did size them slightly larger than my actual nail bed so that I could just really just put them over top of the nail so that I could just take some photos and such and then um, pop them right back off. So um, I don't know, maybe I can show you guys how I do that anyway. So I'll show you all how I do that with the thumbnail. You will just want to take the press-on nail off of the um, nail stand and I do have a full dedicated series showing you all how to apply press on nails with different mediums so I have tried it with acrylic with builder gel nail glue adhesive tabs so I'm gonna leave that playlist so if you all want to apply the nails in a different matte method you can but this is me showing you how to apply it just to take some photos and pop them right back off so I do have some glue dots here these glue dots you can get from either Shein or Amazon. And I'm literally just gonna take it and put it over top of my actual nail bed like so, and then peel it right off, All right? So now I have a, like a glue dot right over top of my nail, okay? As you all can see. And then the only thing I'm gonna do is just kinda line it up with my cuticle like so and press it down. And then now the nail is on for a quick photo op. Typically though, when I do this method, I do like to slightly tuck my nail underneath the cuticle just so that it looks a little bit more natural. But again, I'm just doing this for photo purposes really quick and easy so yeah that's what it would look like on and what's nice about sizing it just a little bit bigger than your natural nail is it does cover up the nail completely um, from sidewall to sidewall so yeah y'all that's how that looks I'm gonna go ahead and do it to the rest of the nails and I'll be right back I just finished my roll of adhesive. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I am absolutely loving how this set turned out. I think it's a nice alternative to the regular, you know, browns and the oranges and the nudes for fall time. I'm keeping it nice and bright this fall season, y'all. So yeah, this is what the nails look like. Obviously, the nails don't look super natural um, against my nail plate because I do still have my press on nails underneath here. But again, this is really just for demonstration purposes to show you guys how the nails would look like if you applied them. Um, if I did apply them to my nails, I would definitely go around this cuticle area and shake them to my natural cuticle and then also slightly tuck it to make them look a little bit more natural but this just to give y'all an idea of how beautiful this set turned out it's really cute I love the simple stickers I love the simple design um, so yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comments below I do want to give another special thanks to Madam Glam for sending me these products over for review they turned out super cute um, if you all are interested in purchasing any of Madam Glam's products um, I will leave my discount code here on the screen as well as in the description box below the link that I leave in the description box it is a bitly link so if you all click that link it'll take you all directly to Madam Glam's website and automatically apply my discount code if you all don't want to become a VIP member all you have to do is click pay as you go and then you will see um, that 30% off discount applied to your order so yeah y'all if y'all are wanting to get your hands on them definitely check them out y'all know I'm a huge fan of the Madam Glam polishes and like I said that Scorpio really set off that pop the champagne like it really gave it a 
pop okay i hope you all enjoyed the video um again i do have my personal nail series happening on my channel so i am going to leave that link down in the description box below as well and this was the original design that i was kind of playing around with and testing out i really wanted to do like this negative space nail with those leaves that i had got from ebony plush creations recently i don't know if y'all saw my most recent haul but aren't these just some beautiful leaves? So I thought that would have looked really cute with this purple. Since I wasn't ready to take these press-on nails off just yet, I had to kind of scrap this design because it would have been a negative space. You would have been able to see right through the nails. But y'all, I will be revisiting this design in the near future. And this was me just playing around with a little bit of stamping on these nails over here. So yeah, y'all, that was my process, okay? I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.